You know what doesn't make any sense to me? Why the Back to the Future trilogy is paced the way it is. In the first Back to the Future, Marty McFly accidentally goes to the past of 1950 and meets his parents while they're his age. Unfortunately, he makes it so they never meet, and so he has to do various hijinks to get them to meet so he can be born. Then he goes back to the present. Alright, now in Back to the Future Part 2, Marty McFly goes to the distant future of 2015, where he has to stop his kid from making a really bad mistake that will wind up putting his whole family in prison. But then, while he's there, his girlfriend gets lost, so they have to go and find her. But while they're finding her, uh, the evil bad guy Biff finds a sports almanac and gives it to himself in the past using the time machine while Marty and Doc weren't looking. Then Marty and Doc go back to the present, but everything is wrong because Biff got a lot of money from doing the sports thingy and now he controls the entire city. So Doc and Marty have to figure out when exactly old Biff went back in time to give the book to young Biff. But then it's revealed that old Biff went back in time to the time period when the first movie took place, and so Doc and Marty have to do various hijinks while avoiding themselves from the first movie for uh, some reason. And so then after the uh, climax that was kind of lame because Biff isn't a very good villain, uh, Doc gets randomly set to a random time period and Marty just is kind of stuck there and has to meet with old Doc. In Back to the Future Part 3, they're in cowboy times. Okay, now so why does everything happen in the second movie and nothing happens in the third movie? I mean, it feels like Back to the Future Part 2 has the potential plots to Back to the Future Part 2, 3, and 4. They go to three different time periods in this movie, and all of them could be their own standalone movie. Now, in Back to the Future Part 3, they go to Cowboy Times. This movie sounds like it'd be the fourth episode in the Back to the Future animated tie-in series. In fact, Back to the Future Part 3 is so unimportant to the story, here are some screenshots I found while looking up Back to the Future in Google Images before I managed to find this poster for Back to the Future Part 3. Four identical posters for the first Back to the Future movie, three posters for Back to the Future Part 2, Two images of Marty McFly action figures. Nine random screenshots from Back to the Future Part 1. Three images of Just the Car. Three images of Back to the Future The Musical. This promotional artwork for Funko Pops. And two images of a Back to the Future Playmobil set. And after all those things, the Google algorithm says is more important to the Back to the Future franchise, finally, you get Back to the Future Part 3. And you know, I feel like there's a reason why Back to the Future Part 3 isn't remembered nearly as much as the other two Back to the Future movies. Because the other two Back to the Future movies are about time travel, and Back to the Future Part 3 is about cowboys. And now, before some annoying moron mentions to me, yeah, but they use the time machine to go to cowboy times. Yes, but it's not a movie about time travel. You see, in Back to the Future 1, it's about time travel because Marty McFly meets his parents when they're his age. That would be impossible without time travel. In Back to the Future 2, everything is time travel related and they put too much into one movie. It is about time travel. 
In Back to the Future Part 3, they use time travel to go to cowboy times. And then the rest of the movie is about that.